that are here online this morning for our webinar. Appreciate your attendance, and we'll go ahead and get started here. As we talked about, the title of this presentation is looking at the uh, power of the i-series. Uh, the i-series being our Empower printer, uh, the MP5i and 10i, which many of you may be familiar with from just seeing it at various trade shows. Might be that you actually own one. Uh, could also be that uh, you've never seen one other than in a video, and our purpose here today is to get you more involved as to understanding what these machines can do and how they can dramatically change life and whole business plan for you, for the good. Our agenda today, uh, we're going to do a little recap on the DTG industry itself, looking at uh, that whole market, some of the challenges and the business advantages of having a direct garment printer. We'll get a little more specific about the market itself. We'll take some time to evaluate the printer, uh, the Empower, the its i-series advances that we had brought to the table since its early introduction in 2011. We'll get into some economics as to showing you how these machines, uh, these printers, can be very, very beneficial in either an, an existing business as a new revenue stream or to enhance a business that's already there or starting out fresh if you're a brand new business owner. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we will have a Q&A session at the end. You'll be able to send your questions to me uh, via the, uh, the chat line there. You can type those in. I will hold those to the end. So if you wouldn't mind, just make some general notes as you go along. And then as we get closer uh, to about 15 minutes before uh, the end of the hour presentation, start loading those questions up, and we'll take those through uh, one at a time for you. A little bit why direct to garment or DTG. Um, any imaging businesses, uh, promotional products that are out there, be they screen printers, be they rhinestone, embroidery, you name it, uh, again, they can't uh, continue to stay in business as a one-trick pony. If they don't diversify, their business is going to dry up or ultimately uh, go away. There's always pricing pressures that are going on. Many times, especially in screen printing, it becomes a commodity-type pricing. And it also ties in with service and offering things that their competitors uh, may be offering as well, whether that is through the web, social media, and the like. And here's the other great thing. DTG is because that's where the money is at, as we will show you later on. The margins in this business are extremely large. The ROI on your investment in your equipment comes very, very quickly, and the ongoing cash flow and revenue generation is, is one of the best business models you're going to find out there in the marketplace. Why should you get into it? Well, first of all, let's step back a little bit, look at the garment decoration industry as a whole. It's a $44 billion industry in climbing, and out of that, garment printing itself is $23 billion. So over half of that industry is just imprinting garments. And the really great thing is that within that, the direct garment printing has only been so far a 5% spot on the screen. So it's slowly becoming bigger and bigger. I was recently at a trade show in Philadelphia last week. For the three days while we were there, we continually were being uh, inundated with folks coming to the booth that have embroidery businesses, screen printing businesses, maybe both, but they needed to get the additional uh, aspect of direct -to garment brought into their business to make it stronger. And as they're realizing, they need that. They need to be able to answer their customers' demands. They need to be able to uh, add another product that uh, they're currently not offering. And as we talked about earlier, they need something that with that investment is going to give them a great ROI with large margin. Now, production equipment generally can be a little costly when you get into any type of manufacturing mode. Um, older technology sometimes requires a, a high or steep learning curve. And, for example, in screen printing, smaller jobs have very small margins. If any of you on this line are screen printers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You need volume, you need a minimal number of colors on the 
actual garment that you're printing so when to keep your costs down. Otherwise, there's next to nothing in the way of any profitability. At the same time, there's always this continuous need to attract new clients. And the way to do that, again, that's where the DTG market comes into play. Competitive Edge is going to give you a good high customer quotient. It's going to lock in those repeat folks. If you're currently doing screen printing, I'm sure there's many times where you've been asked to print a handful of shirts. And maybe they had uh, five, six, seven different colors in the graphic. There was no way you were able to accommodate your customer's needs. Now, maybe you did it because they were a friend, family member, or something like that. But when it was all said and done, you didn't make any money on that. And you know that when people come in and ask for that on a repetitive basis and you can't fulfill it, you're losing business. And that's, again, where our printers come into play. Also, if you're outsourcing and not doing it yourself, you're dependent upon the lead times and the ship times of the individual that you're working with. So if you have a screen printer across town or maybe across the country that you're outsourcing your jobs to, you have to queue up behind them when you have work to be done, and your customers will pay for that. They'll pay for that in lag time, and they'll pay for that in frustration. And many times you'll pay for that in the loss of the business because you can't fulfill it as quickly as they would like. Again, if you've got the investment in your equipment on your property, in your shop, you have the ability to control that discussion and to control your business and repeat business as well. So what is that solution? Well, that's why we're all here today. And we're talking about durable, high-volume direct-to-garment printers, or again, DTG, as you'll see that acronym thrown around. It's very easy to learn for multiple product lines. Um, very very high predictable margins as we talked about and we'll show you this a little bit later in the dialogue as to how those margins can be up to 75 percent which I'm going to venture I guess is something that you're probably not experiencing in your current screen printing business or maybe rhinestones or embroidery and again just something more to add to your overall business services that you can offer up to your customers you have the ability to attract all types of new businesses with samples. Uh, to make samples on these printers is very, very convenient. In fact, one of the, the most successful uh, ways to either grow this business or to start out new is to take printed samples and deliver them to your prospects in lieu of, say, a menu of the services that you offer. How many times have you walked through, say, a food mall and people are handing out little samples of the food, would you much rather have that or would you rather just look at the menu on the wall and make a determination as to where you want to eat? Same is true here. If you have the ability to hand out samples of your work, you now capture them. They already can tell what you can do. It's a question now of convincing them that they need to come to you for their printing needs. There's very fast, fast turnaround. You can personalize it with DTG. Uh, in many industries, again, I hate to keep picking on the screen pin printing industry, but when you go to a screen printer, they want that one graphic. They want to do it for a large volume of shirts. And to personalize them is next to impossible to do because it shuts down the production to intercede to come back with additional personalized aspects to it. Not so when you're dealing with DTG. You have the ability to personalize every shirt if you want to. If somebody comes to you and they want the graphic on the front with a number and a name on the back, you can do that. Try doing that in other mediums. It's nearly impossible. And that's again, gives you an edge over your competition. Again, with lead times, somebody could walk into your business, call you on the phone, send you an email today, and they say, hey, I need 10 shirts. I need them to look like this and I need them this afternoon. Can you help me out? Guess what? With DTG, you can get that done. In other mediums, again, that's not going to be possible in all likelihood, which means what? You get to satisfy your customer. They have loyalty to you. Your ship times go very quick. You take the middleman out. If you're outsourcing now, your margins increase. Your customers are happy, and so is your banker. Your banker is very happy because you're putting more money in your bank account all the way through this whole process as opposed to sitting and waiting 
on somebody else's timetable to deliver the goods so that you can pass it on to your customer. There are operational advantages with DTG. A lot of people will say, in fact, I just spoke to somebody earlier this week, they're getting into the business without any background. They don't have the business uh, set up. They don't have the business uh, of actually being involved in this, but they see the advantages to it, and they're ready to jump in. And the startup time is very quickly. I tell people, if you're coming into this cold, allow yourself a couple of weeks to get up to speed. Um, it doesn't take long to get familiar with the software, to get familiar with the techniques. In fact, one of the advantages uh, that is offered out there by our company is that when you buy one of our printers, you have free lifetime training. Now, I know it's a, it's a horrible thing that you'd have to get away from where you're at to spend a day over here within a mile from the beach in sunny Southern California, but guess what? So often as you'd want to do that for the ownership of our machines, you get to come out here and you can take advantage of that anytime, as well as additional training videos, as well as our online tech support team housed right here in our factory in Southern California. Uh, size of the equipment sometimes enter into the dialogue of the business because people say, I don't have a large job. I don't have 1,500 square feet or a storefront or anything like that. If you can set aside an area of 85 to 100 square feet, you can have a DTG printer, you can have an Empire printer in that room with your heat press, with your equipment, and be able to create a business that will generate you six figures a year. And again, that's only with 100 square feet. When we go to a trade show like we did last week, we had two of our printers, two heat presses, we had our shirt blanks, we had other uh, infra, uh, material and, and ability to walk around. We did it all in a 200 square foot booth. And that was with five of us in the booth working throughout the day with people coming by. We were printing shirts, making samples, and that was in a trade show environment. So again, imagine what you could do with just 100 square feet in, in your own home or in a basement, a garage, a separate facility. You don't need much. Uh, again, you get to differentiate your business. You can do the samples. You can provide people. In fact, when we, were, when we go to shows, we print samples all day long. Many of you on this phone call may have already received samples from the regional manager that you've already been talking with. And there's a reason why we do that. We can talk about the printers. We can send you paraphernalia. We can send you all of the brochures and the like until you physically put your hands on the product, you really don't get a keen appreciation. The objective factors are great. The subjective analysis at the end is very critical. And again, that's only costing you a couple of dollars to hand somebody a very inexpensive printed shirt. And payoff times, as we talked about, and we'll show you here with some customer testimonials later in this presentation, but as little as 90 days for your return on your investment. In fact, as we get into this later, I will discuss with you about a, a company down in Florida. They literally paid for their machine in two weeks, and I'll show you how that can be done. Now, when you are looking at the DTG market, obviously you want to do your homework. That's why you're on this call. That's why perhaps maybe you have been to one of our trade shows taken the call, the time, looked at the material with our salespeople and, and received the samples. And you want to do your analysis and you want to look out there and say, okay, who else is in this market? Well, besides Anajet, and by the way, we're on to our 11th year in this business and we have retained our position as number one for the last 10 years. There are other folks out there that make these printers and not to take away from them, they sell them and they they do the job for their customers. But at the same time, there's a reason why we are number one. And one of those reasons is we are a USA made product. Everything from the engineering, the patents, the design, the research and development, the ongoing quality control, the production, the tech support is all done right here in our factory in Orange County, California. You can't say that about anybody else. There's others that will say they have a 
a store, they will have a production facilities, but their parts are, are being generated overseas, their software support may be overseas. It's not USA made from top to bottom. And that has allowed us to keep our number one position along with the lowest amount of maintenance in the industry, the least amount of cost for ink, highest reliability. Commercial printers. I just spoke with a gentleman yesterday. He was in my office. He's with a large national chain of companies, has a facility over here in Irvine, California, and he's realizing he needs to add this to his repertoire of, of other services he's offering up. And he understands it and realizes it isn't going to take him long to put this into his operational uh, systems with everybody from not only operation and, and performance, but also in production as well as his sales team. He also knows that he will get a fast turnaround. He will be able to keep his customers there for other services. He many times gets asked, can you do shirts as well? We just created this nice advertising program. You've printed up the brochures, that and the other. We are also looking to get some shirts to go with us. Can you do it? He's had to outsource it. Now, he, by bringing a printer into his facilities, that outsourcing will go away. So his margins go up. His turnaround is faster, and his customer now knows when he comes to him, it's one-stop shop. And again, he gets to customize it, and he gets to personalize it. It's not just one of thousands hanging on the rack that all look the same. He can change it from colors to names, the size, the shape, and everything. And what does that do? Create fatter margins for his business. Screen printers and embroidery shops, they understand the reason why to invest in this thing called direct garment printing. Again, mass personalization. Um, companies like Cafe Press or Zazzle that some of you on this call may be familiar with, these are customers of ours. These are people that understand the need to mass produce on 24 hours a day from their website locations. And they have as many as 40 of our machines running three shifts a day, six days a week, to keep up with their demand. And the only reason they have us is because we beat all of the competition when they put us head to head. They brought us into rooms, sat us down, gave us the same graphics, started the clock two hours later. They said, all of you stop. We had the most production. We had the least ink cost. We had the best outcomes and resolutions. Everything won. And so did we. We were able to have those accounts and keep those accounts because, again, they cannot afford to have their business come to a halt during the course of the day or getting a lot of returns because the, the shirts didn't look well or they didn't hold up well. In fact, the durability on the, the garments that come out of our printers, for those of you that have received samples, probably you've seen that you're washing and washing and washing these things, and nothing is changing. In fact, if the shirt... Uh, starts to degrade, you will see the graphic start to degrade, but it's the shirt that's breaking down, not the graphic. Again, screen printers, embroidery shops, they've got a fast learning curve. They understand the ability to mix colors with garments, how to deal with graphics. Um, now the screen printers can say yes to short orders. When somebody walks in and says, hey, i got a got a bowling team over here and we just need five shirts, not a problem. And that same person might be coming back to them in a few months needing 100 shirts, which the screen printer will be more than happy to handle. And then they'll have a determination. Do I do it on the screen printing side, or do I do it on the direct garment on my Empire machine? And they'll make that determination. If that color on 100 shirts or the graphic uh, it has seven, eight, nine colors on it, they're going to do it on that Empire machine. Embroider, embroiders also can print a sample on demand faster than sewing. Uh, you've only got one operator running a machine instead of two or more. And again, you have full color digital print at very, very high volumes. Promotional product people and distributors, they understand why they want this. I have a very good customer here in Southern California. She came to a promotional product show in February of 2013. Had never even given consideration to it. She saw what it was doing. She looked at it in the booth. She came down to our facilities here in Orange County, 
went through a further demo, guess what? She's had her machine for over a year now, and it's expanded her business. Uh, gives her greater variety. It gives her the ability to not only provide her customers with the other type, I call them tchotchkes, but the little giveaways, the pens, the little decorative items, uh, whatever they're looking for, but she can now be involved directly in providing them with shirts and other printed material. In fact, she's even gone to the extent of taking photographs that they want and putting it on stretch canvas for, their, uh, for the company's needs be it for an, an outing that they had, for a promotional product, or what have you. And again, all of these things being done on her Empower printer. And the beauty of it is greater margins. She used to outsource, now her margins are, are dramatically increasing. Doesn't have the lead times like she had. She's been able to get away from the middleman. She controls the quality, the process, the turnaround. And again, samples on demand, the thing that we will keep reiterating over and over because it does work. Companies like Ford Motor Company, they understand this. We did a show for them in Las Vegas last year. They uh, came to us, actually it was their promotional advertising uh, company, came to us and said, listen, we have a, I think it was a three or four day show over in, Fort, uh, over in Vegas, one of the largest automobile shows, trade shows in the U.S. every year, and they wanted the ability to do something very unique, and what they did was they allowed their customers to stand in line, and you can see in that upper left-hand corner, these folks are all standing in line waiting. Sometimes they were standing in line for up to two hours because the line was so big. They were getting an individual custom shirt like that gentleman in the lower left-hand corner. They walk up, they hand the graphic over. That shirt was printed up immediately on the spot on that printer that you can see in the background there, and boom, over that whole stretch of time, eight hours a day for three to four days, those customers walked away with something that was personalized. It was theirs. It wasn't just something like a shirt that they hand to you when you walk into a ball game that they printed for 40,000 people that night that doesn't fit. We had multiple sizes, the ability to make the shirt in the small all the way up to the triple XL, and they got what they needed, and they got it instantly, and they were very, very happy folks, and went a long ways with Ford in the relationship with their customers. Damon Printing, uh, Nick Damon and his family, uh, their third generation printing shop. They were a commercial printer, very similar to the gentleman I was speaking with yesterday, and after spending two hours online with our university, and 1,500 prints later, they're just moving right along. And again, they're expanding the product offerings within their own operations. So they've got an established base. They're not having to go out and start, say, a business from scratch, but they realized they were losing an opportunity with their customer base that they needed to capture, and, that's, and it's allowed them to do so. Now, besides shirts, what else can you print on? Well, you can print on metal, you can print on glass, you can print on wood, uh, you can take foil and add it to a shirt. We, we do this occasionally at, at trade shows. In fact, I get accused of being the foil master sometimes at the shows, and I'm asked not to do it because it creates such a crowd sometimes you can't even handle the volume of folks that get around it. But it enables you to take 35 to 40 cents worth of foil and apply it to the finished shirt, and it creates all of a sudden such a beautiful look that from a retail standpoint is going to add at least five to ten dollars of additional value to the shirt. I mean, how would you like to have something where you spend 35 cents and somebody will pay you another five to ten dollars for it? You'll do that all day long if you have that capability. And with these printers, you can do that. And as you can see there, you can print on stretch canvas, be it photography, be it old art masters. Uh, I have a client here in Southern California. He prints on uh, tile, and he makes custom tiles that goes in for uh, kitchens and bathrooms when they're doing remodels, and this way people can have the customized tile fitting into that backsplash the way they would like with the pictures from whatever source, whatever they want, they can incorporate that into the remodel. Quite a, quite a unique little opportunity. 
this is not just something that's only something for success in a certain industry. Uh, retail stores, interior designers, corporate branding, schools, hospitality, healthcare. Uh, we have folks that are printing uh, customized scrubs so that they can, people, you know, when you're standing in a, in a facility, a healthcare facility, be it an outpatient surgery center, hospital, what have you, all day long, and you're wearing those same blues and greens, sometimes it's kind of nice just to have some customized scrubs just to add to the occasion. Or if you want to make it more festive, if you're in a pediatric ward, uh, that you can make decorative images all over the scrubs so that for the children that are in there, it just kind of brightens the day and adds just a little bit more flair. Uh, nonprofit, athletic teams, all of these are areas whether they're doing it themselves or target markets for you as you're taking this out. In fact, right now I'm in the process of uh, selling to a large church organization here in Southern California that is going to do it because they have numerous camps and retreats throughout the course of the year, and they've been outsourcing it. They're not looking to do it so much from the standpoint of a retailer sales. They're looking at it from the standpoint of reducing their cost and saving money to keep within their organization. So let's talk a little bit about this thing we call the Empower. Uh, it's a printer that we rolled out in 2011. Uh, it is the fastest direct to garment printer, bar none. And I say that uh, because, as I mentioned earlier, when we've been brought in by large fulfillment companies and they have put us to the test, we outpace everybody else. The ROI on these investments, as we mentioned, can be in as little as 90 days. We've had folks demonstrate to us, or in one case, <laughs> as little as two weeks, but I'll get to that story in a little bit. You have technical support from our people right here in our factory. You have a direct 1-800 line that you're talking to. You're not talking to people halfway around the world or that will call, when you call them, they'll refer you to go out onto the web, look up uh, a certain document, research it yourself, and seek the answers and then give them a call back if you don't find the answer. You have endless possibilities whether that possibility is, is marketing the shirts to different types of entities, organizations, or companies, or printing on shirts in the morning and printing on wood in the afternoon and printing tomorrow on a different type of substrate. You also have a machine, and I want to really stress this with all of you, it is an industrial strength machine, meaning we put RICO Generation 4 stainless steel heads in these machines. Other machines on the marketplace, ourselves included, when we first entered into this years ago, we're all using the Epson plastic printhead. And I want to underscore that. It's a plastic printhead. We'll do the job, but like anything that's plastic, they break down. And you have to replace those periodically, or they're easier to clog. With the Rico printheads, those printheads from an engineering standpoint, have been tested to do a hundred billion, that's with a B, hundred billion actuations, meaning these things will take you into heavy battle and back. They will do heavy industrial head cleans when needed. When you try to do that on other types of print heads, it'll just blow them out and break them. The other thing that we've done in on this machine is we were the first to introduce the auto recirculation into the DTG market. Prior to that, it meant that that white ink would be sitting there and it'll start to solidify if it's not being used on, say, a daily or at least every other day basis. And it necessitates uh, that you have to print every other day if you don't have auto recirculation. When we put this into our machines in 2011, it became the, the industry uh, leader and raised the bar as far as innovation. Others are starting to bring that along, but others are following. They're not leading. And we did this, again, because we wanted you to have a performance from an industrial standpoint that is always maintaining you at the highest level of quality and durability and to keep you up and running. As I said earlier, companies like Zazzle and Cafe Press, these machines are running three shifts a day, six days a week can't do that with a toy. You can only do that with something that is an industrial strength machine, not a consumer electronic machine. We've had many advances 
since we first rolled out our machine. And that's, you know, like all things technologically uh, driven in this in, in this world today, everything changes and advances. Apple came out yesterday with their new changes in their in their phones, and even now with their with their watch that they're bringing to the marketplace. Same is true with us. And so as as we have brought out innovation, we just don't sit up and rest on our laurels. We continue to make those advances, and that gets down to better ink flow, uh, whether that's the fill process or the actual flow while it's printing, down to the quality issues. Um, it's a constant thing with us day in and day out to always focus on how we can make advances. In fact, we're about ready to roll out a new upgrade in our uh, software uh, with our printers, which is included with all of our printers. And guess what? When we enhance and improve the software on our printers, you get that for free for the life of the machine. Many times other companies will say, yes, this is the software, but it's version A. We've come out with version C, but you're going to have to pay some money in order to get those additional versions. With our company, every upgrade on that software as we make and improve and enhance it, those are yours. You've paid for the machine. You're entitled to all of the upgrades that comes with it. We also have better reliability, more durable components. Again, like anything in life, you start out, you keep finding ways to improve upon it. And we, with our QA team, are always repetitively going over ways that they can make this system even better. They will take a customer's machine who Maybe the customer says, I've had this certain kind of situation happening with my machine. We will look to duplicate it here in our factory to find out why that might be occurring. Maybe it's something with the machine. Maybe it's something with the environment that the printer is being housed in. Maybe it's something with the owner of the machine. But that's our job is to always keep finding ways that we can advance and improve the quality so that improves your business and improves your relationship with us. We are committed to durability and ease of use, and as I mentioned, free lifetime software and firmware upgrades, a continual tradition of free training. You know, we are of the belief that you will be as successful as you are fully trained on the machine. And yes, we've had people that have bought the machines not come for training, and have they done well? Yes, there are, and there's also people that have not, and more times than not, the reason that they didn't do well is they didn't come to the training. And when you talk to them later and you talk about something and they go, well, I didn't know that, and you look at them and you go, you know what, you would have, you've been a training. And that's the key, and we really, really push for that training throughout the whole ownership of, of our printers. Uh, free lifetime technical support. It's not uncommon in the electronics field and, and uh, industries like ours that that technical support, um, maybe it's there for the first six months or 12 months, but after a period of time, it goes away. And if you want it, you have to pay for it. Not here. I don't care if that machine is an FP125, which we rolled out in 2004. You can still call our tech support team today on a dedicated 800 number. And those folks are going to ask for your serial number. And they're going to say, well, Ralph, good to hear from you. What can I help you with? Let's get you going. And if Ralph has been owning that machine from day one, he's got that tech support team still going for him 10 years later. Uh, there's no hidden setup fees. When we quote you, when we tell you this is what it costs to have that machine delivered to your location, that is everything. There's nothing like, oh, yes, well, that's the cost to get it to your door, but now you have to pay another $500 to talk to our tech support team to get you set up, or whatever crazy fees that might be hidden in there. Um, so again, we work on the basis of being very upfront very transparent with everything and to make sure that you are as successful as, as you're wanting to be with that machine. Talk a little bit about the software in the machine. As I mentioned briefly, uh, we pride ourselves that it is our own software. Uh, this is not something that uh, we're renting or that uh, uh, we're getting from somebody else as, as a second, second party. It's our software. We maintain it, we upgrade it, we're constantly working with it. And it's also one of the simplest softwares to use. 
you may be working in Photoshop or Corel or maybe neither one of those or maybe some other kind of graphic design or maybe you don't even do graphic design. You're just going to take pictures off the internet, whatever it is. You can drag and drop that right into the software itself. Um, you set the background. You determine what is the color of the shirt or the garment I'm printing on and that background instead of being black as it is here in this image, maybe that's chartreuse, maybe it's white. You get to change that color and get a visualization of what that really is going to look like before you make that print. You get to customize it. You can shrink it. You can expand it. You can position it upper corners, down in the middle, whatever you want to do. You can increase the, the reds. You can diminish the greens. You can do what you need to make that color pop if that's what you're looking for, or maybe you want it to be a vintage look or a washed out look, kind of like a, an old Navy image, that kind of thing. That is your voice, and that's the capability and the flexibility that you have with our Empower software. And at the same time, you'll see that right on the printer itself. You finish printing, or, or I should say ripping the, the actual graphic, and you upload it to the printer, you have the capability to store up to 8 gig of graphics on that machine. That's about 1,200 graphics. So when you have a customer who has a standard graphic that's going to go on a typical shirt and they're a repeat customer, guess what? You only have to do that once. Store it on the computer, and any time they call up, you just take that right off the system like a Word document on your computer, transfer it right onto the shirt. Happy customer, happy banker. We have two different models within the Empire. We have the MP10 and we have the MP5. Um, they're different only in the number of print heads. The 10 has one print head for each channel of ink. There's six channels of ink on the Empower line, and for the 10, we've assigned one Rico print head to each one. On the 5, we're sharing. We've got two print lines or two ink lines sharing one Rico print head. It's kind of like a four-cylinder car versus a supercharged eight-cylinder car. The difference is production. That's all it is. And there is a price difference, which your manager, regional manager can talk to you about on the price difference. That way, you have a machine that fits your needs for your turnaround times, for your budget, and for your business model. But on the high end, yes, you can do 20 seconds for a white shirt. We were doing this at the show in Philadelphia. People are looking at this and going, oh my gosh. Um, black shirts can be done in as fast as 40 seconds. Your ability to print in the course of the day, as you can see here, can vary depending upon the, the, the size of the graphic and whether you're printing on white garments or dark garments. And when you translate these out into that volume on a continual basis, you can see this is why large fulfillment companies, as we addressed earlier, choose our printer because of the production capability that they're, that they're looking to do. I tell people that on average, that if, if you're looking to do 3,000 or more shirts a month, 4,000, 5,000 shirts a month, the MP10 is going to be the, the shirt that you want because it gives you that turnaround. If you're something less, if it's, say, maybe just 2,000 shirts, that's roughly about 100 shirts a day on a, on a five-day work day or a five-day work week, the MP5 is probably going to suit your needs. But then again, things change. Maybe you're taking that printer to a live event, and maybe you want to be able to print as fast as you can because you've got a, a demand right there for the day at a, at a fair or a sporting event or something. Then the 10 may be the machine of choice because you get the faster turnaround and you don't want to lose business. So again, these are there for your determination and for your dialogue and discussion with your, with your regional sales manager. I want to give you a little idea about the ROI on, on the machines. Um, a fully loaded printed white shirt, um, again, could be three, could be upwards to four. Sometimes it could be down to two or three. Depends upon the price you're paying for the shirt. Also depends upon the size of the graphic and, and how much saturation you're putting on it. But the average retail price is $15 to $18 and up. You're looking at $12 gross profit per shirt. Even if that was just $10, uh, an MP5i, 
if you're doing 2,500 shirts uh, or you're doing 3,500 shirts on a 10, that's your point of your return on your investment. 2,500 shirts on a 5. Let's talk about that a minute. If you just did 10 shirts a day, that's 200 shirts a month. You did that for 12 months in the course of a year, you're at 24, 2,500 shirts. How many of you, when you've gone into business or looked at other business ventures, have been able to determine that your ROI was a year or less? In most cases, it's, it's two to three years. I have family that owns restaurants, and their, their belief is it takes five years for them to get their full investment back, and that's if they survive after the first year, because the first year in a restaurant is always the toughest. You have the capacity to produce large volumes. You have the keys to success with quality output, high volumes, very efficient productions. And you have to ask yourself, if you just did 2,000 shirts in the course of a month, just 2,000, again, that's 100 shirts a day on a five-day work week. If you're day making $10 per shirt, it's $20,000 profit. I think $240,000 a year might be slightly above the poverty level and would be very well received by most of us on this phone call. We have a gentleman in Princeton, New Jersey, Henry Landau. He's a friend of mine. Uh, I've known him for a few years. Um, he started out with one of our older machines. He started with a Sprint, put it in his, his store. Now keep in mind, his store's been in the family for going on 40, or excuse me, 99 years. I think they just hit 100 years in the family. It's been his grandfather down to his dad, now down to Henry. They put one of these in a few years ago, figuring, okay, we'll see what happens. It took them five months to get their payback. He turned that back in, got himself an MP5i, and I just saw Henry when I was in Philadelphia. He came by the show. He's doing... $30,000, $40,000 a month gross during his peak season when school's in session. And he's right across the street from Princeton University. And guess what? All the fraternities, sororities, various organizations, administrative groups, everybody, they use him. Why? Because he can print on demand. They only need 10 shirts for this or 20 shirts for that, or they got something coming up and they need 200 shirts for this, that, or the other. He can do it. He can do it quickly. He can do it with quality. And the man... The man has thoroughly enjoyed his um, his machine, and um, as I said when I saw him at the show this last week, he, he was lamenting to me. He he was complaining that he didn't have enough room that he'd love to put a second machine in if he could. Andy Buchholz um, down in Keith Charles, Virginia, uh, Eastern Shore Sign. Uh, this is another again a company. They weren't in the printing business. They, uh, you know, as far as shirts and garments, something they added to it. And he put a five in. He upgraded to a ten. And now all of a sudden, he's got sales going off the chart. In fact, we should probably find out what he's um, uh, doing more recently. But it just shows here that in June of uh, 2012. He had already had $21,000 in sales after upgrading to an MP10. IHS printing, uh, Jason Bryan right here in our backyard here in Southern California. Uh, again, a man that's in the screen printing world. Was a screen printer, is a screen printer. I've been over to his facilities, and that's his primary focus is screen printing. He will tell you screen printing is his primary focus, but guess what? He also has a customer base that comes to him on a repeat basis all the time, asking for custom sample or not samples, but custom shirts, custom production, small runs, or things with large multiple colors that he can't afford to do on his spring printing. Guess who's doing that business? Our MP10s. These are just samples of the kinds of shirts, the kinds of images, the things that our customers are doing in printing. Things you can be doing on your own shirts, on your own garments. And by the way, we talk about shirts throughout this a lot. But keep in mind, you're not limited to shirts. You have the ability to print on sweatshirts, hoodies, denim, children's clothes. We have we have a customer here in Southern California. She prints on nothing but socks. Now, I personally would have never thought that was a niche that would 
would do well. This is a lady who works five days a week and makes six figures just making decorative socks. So again, it, it's a limitless uh, situation, allows you the ability to take your imagination. If it's printable, it's probably doable with our printers. I've talked long enough here. Uh, would love to uh, allow you folks the opportunity and the time that have questions. Uh, if you want to get those questions over to me here, I can see them on the screen and have the ability to, to answer them for you for those that are on, on the call. Um, one of the questions I've got here is, how quickly could I get up to speed on this? As I mentioned earlier, um, speed can go very quickly. If you come from a, a print background, you have the ability to be up and running on this machine. Um, I'd say give yourself a week to two, two weeks to get comfortable with it. We tell people when they come here for training that don't don't get this saying, I got to tear out of here, go back, and because I've got 5,000 shirts ready to be printed and I've never done this before. You want to give yourself time. It's like anything else. When we all started learning to drive, we weren't ready for the freeway immediately. We were doing well on the back streets and around the neighborhood and backing up and down the driveway. But you've got to give yourself a little time to get used to things. And that one to two weeks worth of time can be all the difference in the world. So allow yourself that when you're getting into this and allow yourself for the training. Um, one of the other questions I'm seeing here, um, the training. Is that my cost, or uh, does the company pay to fly me out? Well, unfortunately, we don't pay to fly you out here, but um, that is a business expense. That is something you're allowed to deduct in the course of, of your business. So yes, the, uh, the flight, the hotel, and by the way, the hotel, we work with a hotel that's just down the street from us. Very good rate. I think it's like $89 a night. They will pick you up from the airport take you to the hotel, bring you over to our class uh, in the morning and take you back Friday evening at the end of the day. They also put out a very good breakfast buffet. I've been over there several times. And um, for $89 in the course of the, the airfare, it's a very small investment that you're making in addition to the rest of your investment in the equipment. And as I said, you can do that as often as you want. So if you're in one of those areas in the country where the winters can be a little nasty, sometimes getting away in the wintertime might be good, and you can always come do a little traveling here and use it as a business expense while you're out here. Um, let see. Can you finance? Yes. Uh, we don't do our own financing. Uh, we work with outside lenders, but we have multiple programs to work with you to enable you to, uh, if, in fact, I've had people who definitely could just go in and pay pure cash for it. It wasn't a problem. But guess what? They wanted to have the cash flow uh, for their advantage to be able to make a small down payment or as little as, say, 10% on a new business or just the first two months. If you're an established business um, on a five-year equipment lease, they wanted to have the funds available so that they could put that for buying their inventory of blank shirts, marketing, and the other expenses that come associated with starting up a new business. So either way that you're looking to do this, we can accommodate you on that. Uh, and as I said, we, it's not our internal financing, but we work with some very large banks and specialists in the equipment leasing field, and we'd be more than happy to have that dialogue with you, um, myself personally, if, if you're working with me or any of the other regional managers uh, that you may be working with. What are your hours of tech support? Our tech support team arrives here at 7 o'clock in the morning and are here until 6 in the evening. That is California time. If you're on the East Coast, that's 10 in the morning until 9 o'clock in the evenings, Monday through Friday. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, these are our folks. These are people right here in our factory. They have uh, extensive training. They have been online or on on production line, they have actually been using these machines. In fact, several of them have actually taught the training classes. And to be able to do that, they have to, to know the machines forwards and backwards. So they're there. It's a straight 1-800 line into our tech support team. You're not going to have to go through an operator and get transferred over to tech support. And by the way, uh, their response to your calls is very, very quick. This is not uh, like calling the DMV or anything along that line. 
What kind of garments can you not print on? Um, the one primary thing I will tell, tell you if you haven't uh, discovered this already, the better prints are always going to be on natural fabrics, meaning cottons, rayon, natural fabric, uh, canvas, bamboo. These items will always give you the best results. Now, you can print on a mixture, let's say a 90-10 cotton poly blend or up, upwards to a 50-50. You can definitely print on that. The one limitation you will have in this industry, it's not just with us, but in this industry, will be on 100% polyester. You can print on 100% polyester if it's white or light in color because it doesn't require any pretreatment. Um, but anytime you need to lay down uh, white ink, which you have to do on dark colors before you can put the colored ink on top, you have to pretreat the garment. And with 100% polyester, that just will not adhere. You can print and you will have a, a finished image, but after the first wash, that image will look like a Salvador Dali print. Uh, there'll be ink down there somewhere. You just won't be able to understand what it's supposed to be. And that's because that polyester does not allow the adherence of the pretreatment spray, which would then allow you to put the white ink and the colored ink on top. So do keep that in mind that is, if you're, if you're looking to print on nothing but 100% polyester athletic garments and things like that, have a further dialogue with your regional manager about that or the other options and ways to, to work in that medium if that's, uh, if that's something of importance for you. Looks like I've got all of the questions answered here that I've seen on the screen. Um, I won't take any more of your time. I do want to thank all of you for your time and your ability to um, set aside this time with me. If you would like later, I believe today or tomorrow, this webinar will be uh, available again on our website at anajet.com. So if there was items here that you wanted additional clarification or go back and revisit uh, any of the slides, feel free to do so on the web. I would encourage each and every one of you to follow up uh, with your regional manager that you have been speaking with, if, if that is the case. If you're new with us and you have not spoken with a regional manager, I will tell you that uh, someone will be knocking on your door and calling you, not knocking, but literally calling you uh, within a very short period of time today or tomorrow at the very latest. Again, want to thank you so much. And by the way, uh, for those of you that would like to come and see uh, a demo here in our facilities in LA, if you're in the area, please talk to your regional manager. We, we have those all day, every day, Monday through Friday from 9 till 4 in the afternoon. If you're going to join us, at a trade show coming up. We do have a trade show coming up in, uh, let's see, September 28th through October the 1st in Chicago called the Graph Expo. So talk to your regional manager about getting passes to that show. There will be the SGIA show in Las Vegas. That is October 22nd through the 24th. I'll personally be at that show and would look forward to talking with each and every one of you. We'll also be at a show um, looks like at the NBM Charlotte show in November, November 6th through the 8th. Uh, again, uh, if this is in close proximity or you just want to get away and have a little time and turn it into a vacation in Vegas, Charlotte, or Chicago, we would welcome you. We'll also be having trade shows that we'll be at starting right after the first of the year. When in uh, question about any trade show, feel free to always go out to our website. We keep them listed there, and you can get the particulars, and generally we can get your free passes to attend. Uh, again, my appreciation. I thank you so much for your time. Look forward, if any of you are working with me currently or I have the opportunity here in the near future, I look forward to talking with you. Thank you so much. Have a very, very good day.